welcome to my second video. For today's video I wanted to do something more lighthearted than the last time, so I wanted to do the rapid fire tag. It's a tag that consists of some um, A or B questions. So the first one is like, do you like an ebook or a physical book? Then you have to answer and quickly explain why and move on to the next if one. If you sometimes see me looking down, I am looking down, my cheat sheet is over here. So just so you know, totally normal. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into it. So the first one is, do you like an ebook or a physical book? I like physical books a lot more than ebooks because um, one, I like to just have the book on my bookshelf. That's also why I'm running out of space on my shelf. So yes, totally physical book. I do read ebooks, but on a very low basis. The second one is paperback or hardcover. I like paperbacks a lot more. Um, because they're just easier to read and to store and if they have like this dust jacket the hardcovers it's for me a lot more difficult to read them because it keeps getting in the way the third one is online shopping or in-store well i work in a bookstore so for me it's uh, shopping in-store but i have to shop online because uh, most of the books i would like to read um, are english books and we cannot find them in our stores so i use the internet to help me out but if i could choose and they would be in stores i would buy them in stores okay so for the next one everyone should read um, well, my current favorite book is um, A Card of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas, so um, any book of hers would be great for anyone who likes sci-fi, fantasy or young adults. The next one is Last Book I Finished. Well, it's a follow-up for the previous one because I last finished the third one in the series, which is Court of Wings and Ruin. Then the last book I bought was um, Enchantment of Ravens. I bought it online because we couldn't find it here. It's being shipped to me um, and I hope it will be here tomorrow so I can dive into them. Then let's see... Um, my strangest bookmark. Well, I use uh, some of my custom-made bookmarks, but my strangest bookmark is um, the receipt of a book. So when I buy a book, the receipt, I just use it when I just start and read it uh, on the way home. I just uh, use the receipt. Um, used books, yes or no? Um, I would say yes, because if I can find a good copy, I would uh, definitely buy it. But most of the used books are really used in the stores that I'm looking, so um, I really like my books clean, so um, probably no. <laughs> um, top three favorite genres. Um, I like reading young adult, sci-fi or uh, dystopian. Then, borrow or buy. I like to buy my books because, like I mentioned previously, I like putting them on my shelves and just keeping them for myself. But I do lend out books to other people. So, uh, for example, my boyfriend reads a lot, and so if I have a book he wants to read, I do lend it out to him. I always ask him to be very careful with my books because I like to keep my spines completely intact. Okay, so the next question is, do you like either characters or plot? Um, I think if a book has weak characters or just characters that you find annoying, it's a very difficult book for you to read. But at the same time, if the plot uh, is good or if it has a nice flow for you to read, it could make up for a lesser character. So I think I will choose plot for this one. Okay, next one is short books or long books. I think I would prefer long books because sometimes a shorter book doesn't have as much a background story or just descriptions of a place or a person so I like to be completely engulfed in a book so I would prefer longer books. On the same note, long chapters or short chapters, I don't really have a preference in this one but if I can choose I think it reads more smoothly if the chapters are a bit longer. Okay so the next one is first three books on my mind. Let's see, I'm currently reading Caraval by Stephanie Gaber, so that's one. Um, yesterday I watched The Halfbrook Pins, so Halfbrook Pins by J.K. Rowling. And then Walking on Earth a Stranger, one of the other books I bought online. Books that make you laugh or cry is the next one. I think it's very hard to, for a book to make you really laugh genuinely. So I think I pr prefer a book that makes me cry, like um, The Fault in Our Stars. It was a good cry book. The next one is Our World or A Fictional World. Well, I like to escape uh, our world when I'm reading, so I really like young adults and fictional worlds. 
The next one is audiobook yes or no. I do like audiobooks, but I'm sometimes a bit picky on who is narrating them. So for some books, I would um, listen to the audiobook. For others, I don't like them as much. So for the next one, do you judge a book by its cover? Yes, definitely. As I mentioned, I bought the book um, Enchantment of Ravens online and it was just such a beautiful cover with a girl and a raven next to her and it was all shiny. So uh, yes, I definitely judge a book by its cover. Would you prefer cover or title? Mm, I think still cover. Sometimes titles are a bit um, vague and they have to get their attention from the cover and mostly it works. <laughs> Okay, next one is do you either like a book to movie adaptations or a book to TV series? Um, from my experience, the movies mostly are a lot better. Um, the best example I can think of right now is the uh, Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I really like the first movie and I'm sad that they didn't make uh, the next one into a movie, but they did make a TV series out of it and I tried watching it, but I um, just wasn't into it because I probably saw the movies with the characters and I liked those actors a lot more. Um, but I also think I'm more likely to just stop watching it because it just takes too long, in my opinion, to get a full story out of it. Next one, you have to give an example for a movie that was better than the book. And I thought that Paper Times by John Green was a good book, but I liked the movie a lot better. And so for the last one, it's do you like uh, standalones or series. So I like um, series a lot more because most of the time they're much more elaborate and you have better background stories and details on all of the characters. So yes, definitely series. Okay, so that's it for the rapid fire tag. I hope you like them. So you can also follow me on my blog or my Instagram and Facebook page. They're all in the description down below. So feel free to leave a comment on the video for some uh, other tags that you want to see next or for some book reviews.